happy to be here. Ladies. We haven't happy seen you since uh, last oh. Halloween when yeah. you were James yeah. Brown. Yeah. No, that's no, funny. Love that's fun. it. I still got no. the wig. Still got <laughs> the wig. <laughs> love it. Some exciting things are happening. First of all, let's talk about you and Al Pacino. I'm seeing pictures about you and him. What's up? Up with that? I, hmm? I met Al at um at a uh, school play. Our kids go to school together, oh, and uh, I've seen him a. A, a few times, but I'm not one to bother people, okay. mm -hmm. so especially at school. Like, like I feel there are certain places that should be kind of sacred. And in Hollywood, you know, like especially in the private schools, so many people go to the same same school. I think it's inappropriate to turn that into a networking session. Wow. You're like, yeah. True. your kid is doing the school play, but you're like. They're great. Here's my script. Yeah. Right. Right. You know what? If you're meant to speak, then you'll speak. But I was trapped in, in a uh, line of chairs, and he was coming towards me, and I had a little freak out moment. Because, oh, no, no, it's, it's Al. It's Al. So I've got to move. Oh, I can't move. Nobody's moving. Here comes Al. Everybody's out. And then all of a sudden he goes, Wayne. And he goes, who, you not talking to me? Oh, <laughs> that's so dope. That's and he gives me a hug and says he watches Let's Make a Deal. And, no way. And uh, is just one of the sweetest guys. Um, and growing up watching Al, and especially doing improv, everybody has an Al Pacino yeah. impression, yeah. which I would never do for him to his face because would you do it for us? it's not. No, because he, he might be watching this too. I'm sure that Al, Al, Al is watching this Al. too. Oh, yeah. you gotta give me a little Al. You, oh. Yeah, no, mine probably sucks. Okay. You know, everybody okay. does that. <laughs> Say hello to my little. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody does that. Everybody does that. Everybody does that. Okay, so you're rubbing elbows with Al Pacino, and you also recently sang with John Bon Jovi. What? what? I'm, not, I'm not bragging about stuff. Hold on. you got to tell us everything. We How are? did this happen? What was it like? Well, our kids go to the same school. Oh. No. Oh. Funny, right? <laughs> what school is it? No, no, no I was doing a, um, doing a corporate gig. A corporation uh, called, called, and they booked us for the show. And so we did five shows together. And it's a wow. weird lineup. Um, because it was it was me, and then this group called the Illusionist, and then we were opening up for for John Bon Jovi. Wow! wow. Such a cool, weird yeah. little yeah. gig, and awesome. the company was amazing. And then to be able to to sing with John, he he brought me up on stage. And there's another guy that said, "Hey, look, man, I watch you. I watch his line. I watch this thing. Mm -hmm. It's." It's nice to know that the things that you put out, mm -hmm. somebody like, else yeah. else is appreciating. Yeah, so so awesome. then he invited me up on stage, and I sang uh, "Superstition" with him. Wow! And his band. So I was living my my uh, you know rock star fantasies yeah. since then. It was pretty cool. I love it. Speaking Great. of your rock star fantasies, you've actually teased us that you're working on new music. Yeah, yeah. You can, he can sing. About time. You, so, can. you really can. You can. So any updates? Yeah, because I got a, um, um, I've got a single that my buddy Jamie Jones and uh, Jack and and another guy Matt uh, called the Heavyweights. So shout out to to those guys. They they uh, have written a song. It's called Flirting with Forever. Oh. And we're probably going to release it in the next couple weeks. Just a single. That is so exciting. And, uh, and it's called oh. Flirting with Forever. Flirting with Forever. Uh, and oh yeah, you know this ties in a little bit. So. If you, some some of you are saying, I don't know the Wayne Brady said, most of my com comedy is music, yep. but yeah. if you don't know, go to iTunes and check out, I released this record called A Long Time Coming, it was great, I got a Grammy nom for it, it's cool, but folks have been saying that I am the monster on, uh, on, um, oh, oh, on the Mass Singer. Singer. Yes, Mass Singer. Yeah. It's not me. Oh. It's not me. Okay. But, but I'm saying that, but it's my way of saying, go listen to the damn music <laughs> right. so okay. you can see it's not me, Got so that you. you can see when my single comes out that it's not me. But the monster's that's dope. That's breaking news, because I heard is that dope. rumor, too. Okay. The monster is dope. I thought dope. it was you. I was like, no, that's I was me the too. one who was tweeting no, it out. No but, I don't, <laughs> no, but I sound nothing like that. No, you sound better, but I figured it was <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't I'm say saying that. it, Wayne. He's Brady. dope. Okay? Well, I'll take it from you.